Trump ordered to pay legal fees after losing court battle over his Scottish golf course. Here's a summary of the article. President Donald Trump will have to pay the Scottish government's legal fees after a lengthy court dispute over a wind power development project near his golf resort that ended in a victory for Scotland in 2015. Judges in Scotland ruled last week that the Trump International Golf Club Scotland Limited must pay the legal costs of the court case, which began when Trump sued the government while he was running for president. The case eventually made its way to the UK Supreme Court in 2015, which rejected Trump's case, allowing the Scottish government to move ahead with the project. Trump appeared to be referencing the case on Saturday, while breaking the Constitution's emoluments clause, which forbids a president from using the position and power of the office for personal financial gain, when he quote tweeted, a photo shared by the Trump organization of his Aberdeen golf course. Sunday morning that Trump seemed to be threatening the UK government with harm to the US-UK relationship if he is forced to pay the Scottish government's legal costs in litigation Trump started and lost, the Citizen for Ethics organisation, which currently has an ongoing lawsuit against Trump for illegally receiving payments from foreign governments said on Twitter that the President is using an official statement as an ad for his business. This post received a score of 38,360, with an upvote ratio of 83%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. If you dot dot your landscape with these horrible, horrible structures, you will do tremendous damage member of Scottish Parliament MSP. My question is, where is the clinical evidence, not an opinion, an empirical assessment, where is your clinical evidence? Trump, well, first of all, I am the evidence. I think I'm more of an expert Trump, I, dot you know what, I think I'm a lot more of an expert than the people you'd like me to hire, who are doing it to make a paycheck MSP, if you won't Trump, but I am an expert in tourism. Edit, decided to amalgamate a few sources here on his opposition to wind energy from 2012 to now, namely, living near wind turbines is enough to make someone go crazy over a couple of years wind turbines each kill thousands of birds per year no wind means no power direct quote from the rally in Indiana, the no wind no power theory is contradicted by his own energy department, back in 2012, he was tweeting wondering after being elected, he was interviewed by the New York Times in which he I am the evidence is the most dystopian phrase ever uttered. Next he'll be saying that he's the Senate. So this is how liberty dies. With thunderous applause. Greater than so this is how liberty dies. With thunderous laughter. FTFY. H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-